talking about the poor people who are being accused of hate, though, the 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 um, the police Scotland have got it in for the eighteen to thirty year old white male population, because as part of their attempts to explain what a hate crime was, they come up with the hate monster that looks like something from a um, a sugar puffs advert in the nineteen eighties, and here he is here, the hate monster, or the angry Wheatabix, as somebody called him the other day, and. It says, have you met the hate monster? And I guess he's talking there about how hate, he's talking, the hate monster's talking. Sorry, I'm already getting pulled into that. I'm already getting pulled into that frame. I guess the police Scotland, the police Scotland person who wrote that is talking about how hate's not good for you. Well, yeah, we know that. But it then goes on to say something which really irritated me here. Why do some people let the hate monster in? We know that young men aged 18 to 30 are most likely to commit hate crime, particularly those from socially excluded communities who are heavily influenced by their peers. Socially excluded communities. Well, you're not doing very much to bring them into the mainstream by referring to them in that way, are you? They may have deep-rooted feelings of being socially and economically disadvantaged. Well... They maybe are socially and economically disadvantaged. I mean, you don't have to have a deep-rooted feeling to be socially and economically disadvantaged if you are socially and economically disadvantaged, okay? It's maybe they have a deep-rooted understanding of their reality. How about that? It continues that this feeling of being socially and economically disadvantaged is combined with ideas about white male entitlement combined with ideas about white male entitlement, give over, okay? Give over. I would like to speak personally to the person who came up with that, okay? If you're, if you're Channel 4 or something like that and you want an interesting, an interesting conversation, then set me up with the person who wrote that, who's having a go at 18 to 30-year-olds in socially and economically disadvantaged areas and then dumping on them saying that they've got ideas about white male entitlement. Well, excuse me, if you're an 18 to 30 year old male in Scotland, you have every right to feel entitled, okay? You have every right to feel that this is your country. You have every right to feel that you should be put first in your own country. That's not entitlement. That's just the way things should be. White males are entitled to feel that they should be put first because it is their country, along with white females, obviously, as well. So all of that, trying to knock people because they think, because the police or whoever wrote that are saying, oh, you shouldn't feel entitled. Yeah, you damn well should feel entitled to live in this country and to be put first. It's your country. You should be put first. Can't be doing with that attitude of these people. You know, you just feel entitled. Damn right, I feel entitled. It's my country. 